It's a belter. In he goes. And who said Champions Cup isn't exciting, eh? This is the bit everyone at home wants to see because they're going to start booking their trips for these knockout stages. This is the round of 16. We can reveal who is going to play who. And, um, well, familiar foes there between Leinster and Ulster. And a, a, like a frightening one back in Dublin for Ulster, isn't it, Brian? It, it is, but we've been here before. You know, Ulster very nearly turned Leinster over in a quarter-final a few seasons back. Um, so... As those Dar Derby games sometimes can be equalisers, but you, you have to anticipate on what we've seen so far in the competition that just Leinster will have too much firepower for them. Uh, tough one for Edinburgh as well, up at, up at Matty Yeah, Edinburgh. although look, Edinburgh gave Saracens a very tough game at the Stonex, and, and that surprise today was, was, wasn't a surprise because uh, you know they, they, they looked like they were winning that all the way through. But uh, yes, Leicester at home, they've already lost once this, this season to the Ospreys, they won't want to do it again. Uh, and that'll be a really interesting one. Some really interesting games there. Big trips for the likes of Harlequins and Munster going over to South Africa. Yeah, you know, Quinn Stormers has the making of a great game. Both like to play rugby. Um, obviously, Stormers, it, it's a fast track down there, really big physical side, but they scored some great tries today, and, and we know what Quinns, they're never out of it. So I think that could be potentially the fixture on paper. competition that defines seasons for the very best that Europe and now South Africa have to offer. A new era has begun this weekend with the Cup extending its reach. So often you experience a day in which a bit of sporting history is made and today is one such day at Hollywood Bits Kings Park in Durban. The first time that a South African rugby team is competing in the Heineken Champions Cup. The champions ready to kick off their defence. How will they go this season? A little bit inconsistent domestically. Welcome South African teams in the Champions Cup. Body quads are working. And Mapimpi, what a drop! More penalising. In five. Shane Gibson Park. Through midfield it goes. James Lowe arrives on the scene, Lowe bursts into the 22, gets the pass away, a wonderful pass to Gary Ringrove. But Crosby's trying to be a nuisance on the floor, Farrell chips over to Daly, it's a one-on-one -on -one for Elliot Daly, not anymore! And Tom and Park in behind the goals, keeping their depth in the line as well, outside to Lebel, one-on-one here, tackle has to be made, Matisse Lebel! Uh, Shane Daly, a huge amount of ground to make. Free ball here for Watson. What a step! That was extraordinary, and he's gone all the way through. How has he done that? It is a bitterly cold RDS in Dublin, the venue for Friday night rugby in the Irish capital, and round two of the Heineken Cup. He might still get it. Hachiba Diamani into the space. De Vitt to his right. Gets the offload for Paul De Vitt. But he's incredibly strong on his feet, also, Luella Zas. You forget, such a balanced runner. Wandesilisi Milani was all across the field, but there was a striking runner, so it was doing it with a purpose. Webb, Beer. Been in this area very often of late. Bit of a mismatch, Morgan Morris. Lovely finish. Oh, Dimitri Dalib, and Dalib in one hand, then offloads. Here goes Aki. Aki looking for support and finds it. Oh, what a try, De Paul! We'll get it down. It's one of the best efforts of Munster to keep it. It's exactly what they need. Smith never going to be able to match the physicality. You get a one on one. Brawl. James Ram trying to come and assist. So much has happened in three short weeks since they last met. Steve Wilford's final game in charge, of course, for the Leicester Tigers. Earlier places is now. Oh. Simmons in, out, try! What a finish that is from the young man. Youngs gives him a one-on-one. -on -one. Bump left, bump right. Oh. We don't see this often. Beautiful sit down by two Lange. There's some, some force going into that goal. It's been gutsy defence so far from Bordeaux in the second half. And something special needed to unlock the defence. This is special. Maybe a chance to create something here. Tipperick. That's meant for Keelan Giles. Now, what about the bounce? It's gone well for Keelan Giles. There's a chance here on the inside. Tipperick is after it. And 
Chipper against goal. Good. What a polar. Quick hands. Lovely from Tizard. Hit. Just the right side of the flag. Just keeps control on the fingertips of it. First with the attempted tackle. Oh, he's gone again. Bellacott. Superb individual try. Burger. He's done caught. Why not a point? Irons shows a bit of pace. Irons' pass is good to Milanis. Inside ball is the money ball. The balls are over. He's told them to use it. Coombs has not given up the fight, is he? Calvin Coombs, uh, incredible, incredible strength from the number eight. There's the full time with. But actually, Quinns are going to go forward. It was almost a gets him through the cover. You can't leave the outside channel. Fiku has gone way too early. Left is inside centre with gasping at her. That's lovely shoulders are in those yellow jerseys. That'll pop right the corner. And Larachella scored Ulster. Not able to resist that final Bay of Biscay battering. And the European champions have beaten Ulster with the final play of the game. In the middle of the field. What's really just criminal here from a well, just enjoy the enjoy the flick on pass from uh, from Ross Byrne. Now round four of the Heineken Champions Cup starting here in the East Midlands. Those extra three or four inches. Once again they go. A pile of bodies. Two El Trinini can't see anything at all. There's the ball, There's the ball on the ground, but you can't see whether it's on the line. They've decided they can see it. They've decided it's a score. Very much a favoured son. In previous days, here at Belford Road. Tonight, not so much. David Hendricks. Oh, and it's been intercepted. And here goes Exabet. Striding away and scoring. Maybe not as well executed as everything else. But what a David. What a this. What a adventure. He's being chased by a horde of sharks, but David's the quickest. He's the quickest fish in the sea. And Quinn's beginning to pull away with their second try of this second half. That one's OK. McCarthy to Jordan Armour. Osborne in behind. Nicely done. Ross Byrne. Beautiful line from Ringrose again. Gary Ringrose has he got the pace to go all the way. The pass on the outside, and Jimmy O'Brien certainly does. Granted to La Rochelle. Pastoy. We've got numbers. Farrow. Sotini. It's all too easy for the champions here of the gardens. And then a little pocket breaks away. Still towards that line. Still the same ball advantage. Side entry. Penalty try! They do not need that penalty. McGuigan does it. What a win for Gloucester. They've done it beating Bordeaux Begler home and away. And with one of the great victories for this side in this campaign and perhaps a few others as well, Gloucester have made it through to the last 16 of the Heineken Champions Cup. Defensive effort takes its toll. And Hatzenberg gets away. Pops it up for Yankees. Brilliant. Off the deck to Mondor. Joel Simmons, huge chasm for Simmons to clear into Jenkins. Shunza for the corner try. Ulster know that a try here should be enough to win it for them. They've been denied twice on the sail line, but not this time. Carry was good, Somehow. four available. Toulouse have managed to win it back to Matt. Aki over the top, again looking to try to stretch Irish fabric to breaking. And Juan Cruz Malia finishes the job. But it's monster being to lose. That is brilliant from Fekato, as is that pass there from Coombs. And then they're just keeping the ball alive. It became infectious. Busting your nose through, keeping your hands three, and then playing to space. Out of the back. You think Casey's gone. It's a tap tackle. Roly Poly keeps it alive. That could have gone through the hands, but they do so well on the edge. And then it's just once again, I mean, they've gone about 60 meters.
Schumann has it at the back now. Schumann steering the ship, steering it forward, still going towards that line. Try! Saracens complain, I'm sure they'll look at this. But for now, Schumann has the try for Edinburgh. But they need more points to guarantee a home match in the last 16. They need another penalty, they need a drop goal, they move it up the touchline. I wonder if they're going to kick it out thinking they've won the game. Henry Fergus has just got information coming on from the touchline. I think they now know yeah, they, they need points. Yeah. Yeah. And who said Champions Cup is an exciting game? Oh, and Kirkhoff kicks it off. He's kicked it out. They didn't know. They didn't know Edinburgh have a victory, but it's not enough to give them a home match in the last 16. And spectators all around us are celebrating, but they don't know that this victory is not going to give them a home match. And they should have played all. I think Mike Blair did know. And, well, what drama here at the end. A victory, a victory that is hard-earned and they deserve some celebrations, but it doesn't bring them what they wanted.